And we are in line 47 of, of Psalm 78. He destroyed their, now this is going on and it's going to start, you know, continue to talk about all the things that God did. 47, he destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. He also gave up their cattle to the hail and their flocks to fiery lightning. He cast on them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble by sending angels of destruction among them. And so, I, you know, for the Israelites to just go astray after seeing what God had done to the Egyptians is mind-blowing to me. Because there is no way after seeing God do all of that, that I wouldn't have any fear of God say, well, oh, well, let me toe the line so that I can, you know, stay on the Lord's good side. <laughs> I'm on the Lord's side, you know, you know, if you want to go astray, go astray, but I'm not going with you. And that's what Joshua and Caleb did. Joshua and Caleb did not follow those people. Okay, now um, let's go to uh, 50, line 50. He made a path for his anger. He did not spare their soul from death, but gave their life over to the plague. And destroyed all the firstborn in Egypt, the first of their strength in the tents of Ham. And so that sends us to Exodus 12, uh, 29 and 30. And it came to pass at midnight that the Lord struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of livestock. And so that sends us to, um, you know, Numbers 817. Numbers 817. That says, for all the firstborn among the children of Israel are mine, both man and beast, on the day that I struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified them to myself. So he set them, set them apart for himself. Now, Exodus also sends us to uh, Numbers 33.4. That says, for the Egyptians were burying all their firstborn, whom the Lord had killed among them, also on their gods, the and also on their gods, the Lord had executed judgments. So He killed all their uh, their gods too. Little G O D, because He's a capital G O D. And then so it sends us to Exodus nine six. That says, so the Lord did this thing on the next day, and all the livestock of Egypt died, but all the livestock of the children of Israel, not one died. And then that sends us back to where we come from, 78. And so, but remember, Psalm 78 gives us 29 and 30 of Exodus 12. So let's read 30. That says, so Pharaoh rose in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt. For there was not a house where there was not one dead. And that's what I'm saying. You know, and we need that fear of God. Even in our nation now. I mean, it's like, that's why people buck wild. Okay, let's look at uh, line 52 and 78. But he made his own people go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And so remember, we read that at the end of 77. Um, remember when, when we read 77, 20, it says, you let your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. And so remember, because he led them like a flock, because why? God is the shepherd. And then so 53, and he led them on safely so that they did not fear. 
Because remember, sheep are like timid uh, creatures. And so by God leading them, the great shepherd, then um, they didn't have no reason to fear. Glory to God. But the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And then so that sends us to um, Exodus for a couple of reference scriptures. But let's go ahead and pause here. And then we'll pick it up in uh, B part of 53 in the next segment. 